This channel is proudly sponsored by Shades of Vengeance. They have recently launched the Era the Consortium 10th Anniversary Kickstarter. Era the Consortium is one of the greatest sci-fi RPGs. When it comes to the depth and support it has received throughout the years, it is powered by the Era D10 system, a dice pool system. You will find the link to the Kickstarter in the description and in the pinned comment. This channel is also proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the publishers and developers of the Aims of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. They have recently released the Whispers of Copperidge adventure module. You will find the links in the description and in the pinned comment as well. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Aether Nexus. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, Featuring this fantasy mecha tabletop RPG, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about the knights and apparatus. This is effectively the character creation section. To create your knight and your apparatus, you follow certain steps. First, allocate aspects. Your aspects, stone, flux, aether and hearth, receive an array of values according to your liking. 8, 10, 12 and 13. Your frame choice will further bolster these numbers. Then you choose your kin. Your kin is your family, culture and legacy. It gives you a unique trait and nexus search. Then you choose your name. Your knight's name is one unique to them, granted by their kin. Then you create your background. You use the knight background tables to generate the backstory of your etheric knight, where they come from, how they acquire their apparatus, what spurs them to action and what stands in their way. Next, you choose your frame. Your frame is the skeleton of your apparatus. Choose your frame, apply its modifiers to your aspects, and gain your starting energy, resource die, and unique frame abilities. Then you choose a moniker. Your moniker is the name by which your apparatus is identified, granted at the time of its forging or earned through past deeds. When choosing your frame, also choose or roll for a moniker. Then you choose an augment. Augments are special modifications, upgrades and powers attached to your apparatus. Each augment has two unique abilities. Choose an augment and gain one of its abilities. Then you choose a boon. Boons are the spells, relics and arcane gifts wielded by your knight. You choose one of them. Then you choose your weapons. Your apparatus wields mighty weapons and shields in defense of Escada. Choose a weapon and shield or two weapons. Now when it comes to your nexus or group of knights, you follow steps as well. You choose your origin, what binds this band of knights together. As a group, choose or roll for the founding of your nexus on the knight background tables or come up with your own. You also create your banner. Your banner is the name under which your nexus operates. As a group, choose or roll on the nexus banner table or come up with a unique banner together. It's also important to note that there is information here to create seasoned or leveled up knights. This concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about the kin. When it comes to mecha RPGs, they usually have this sort of stigma of being somewhat complicated when it comes to character creation and the mecha creation itself, but this is not the case of Aether Nexus. The creation process is quite simple. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member and enjoying exclusive tabletop RPG tips. You can also use the super thanks button and check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham Eljak, you are a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.